I would uh, like to introduce myself. My name is Javier Cano, and I'm the general manager here at the JW Marriott. Uh, it's a pleasure to welcome everyone here this evening. Uh, I'd like to begin by giving a shout out to all the suits in the room, all the Marriott people. <laughs> But uh, we're thrilled to be here to uh, be part of this wonderful movie, uh, uh, Two Bellmen, and excited that uh, our hotel, J.W. Merritt, uh, where this was filmed entirely, is a great backdrop uh, for the, the film going on tonight. I, I will tell you, though, when they first told me about this, I said, Two Bellmen? I said, how about one GM? How about that? How would that be better? <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't quite make it that way. But uh, we're thrilled to be here. Thank you very much. And I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce David Beebe, who is the Vice President of Creating and Content Marketing for Merit International. Yeah. All right, welcome. How do you get everyone to sort of move in closer, those that are standing, so we can have this room with everyone? Um, welcome. Uh, so we shot this film, Two Bellman, here at the JW uh, in January. And uh, a little joke about Javier and his uh, sense of humor, we, uh, we put a drone in the lobby to get some of the scenes. And Javier came down and he stood next to me and he goes, I really love what you guys are doing, but if that drone crashes into my chandeliers, <laughs> or lands on one of our customers, we're going to have a problem. Luckily we survived and we made the film. Uh, we shot here for 10 days, beautiful property to do the first uh, two Bellman acts, and uh, just a uh, shout out to... Uh, Javier, Amy Campbell, and the rest of the team here that really helped us in an industry first to pull off this production. So I get a round of applause for all the folks here that are also helping us tonight. Um, so I, I'm thrilled to really uh, introduce this project and uh, talk a little bit about it. Um, when we talked about doing Two Bellman, a lot of people thought, uh, why is Marriott doing a film? Uh, it's going to be a commercial. And uh, that, that's not all what it is. And it's not about Marriott trying to be in the film business. Uh, there is a marketing revolution happening at Marriott International and our 19 brands worldwide. Um, and it is being led by a fabulous woman. If you haven't met her, track her down tonight. Her name is Karen Tampone, and she is our global marketing officer. Everyone that meets Karen, their dominates. I just love her. I love her energy. She's awesome. And then I come in. <laughs> so she's a hard act to follow, but thanks to her leadership and support, this is a vision. And this is really about Marriott connecting with our consumers and understanding that brands today, consumers aren't engaging with traditional advertising like 30 second spots and banner ads. It's the idea that brands need to stop interrupting what viewers are interested in and become what they're interested in. And that's what Two Bellman is. So I know, uh, it's hard to see out there, but Two Bellman could not be possible. Uh, with that an amazing uh, cast and crew um, and a group that I met years ago called Substance Over Hype. These guys are the hardest working people in this town. They are amazing talent, amazing storytellers. Uh, they have been working around the clock to uh, get this film out. They just finished coloring it uh, on Sunday in 4K. It looks amazing. 18-hour uh, days, like I said. They, we shot in early January. In two months, they turned around a 17-minute film that you're going to see tonight, Two Bellmen. Amazing cast, amazing writers, amazing dancers. Uh, you're going to see some of them dancing, performing later after the, uh, the film. Uh, so round of applause for Something's Over Hype. Get to know these guys, because they are amazing to work with. Um, with that, a little, little housekeeping, give you a rundown of the night. So, uh, we're going to screen the film, uh, 17 and a half minutes, uh, great credits, great action happening there, so keep watching that. Uh, Mark Grazer from Variety is going to come up after that. We're going to do a really quick panel with the cast, uh, talk, take a deeper dive in how we develop the creative and uh, sort of our global marketing uh, mission and what we're about. Um, and then while that's happening, uh, outside they're setting up uh, amazing food that the hotel here is prepared for everyone, like really cool, like on course, like really great food. So we will open that door after the panel. Everyone can eat. While that's happening, 
We've got multiple live performances from the Substance Over Hype artists happening up here. Uh, of course, the bars will be open. That's where you can find me celebrating. Uh, so, with that, uh, here is, I'm happy to introduce the world premiere with JW Brand, Two Bellman. Here we go. Peace, Mo, and all those guys. There we go. There's our Bellman. Alright, so David, let's start with you. Um, we'll have everybody else come up. Uh, where did the, how did you come up with the idea? I mean, when you're coming up with, hey, let's make a short film for JW Grant, where, how do you come up with this idea? I think for us, we want to start with great storytelling and, and partnering with the creative community. I think when we launched the content studio, a lot of people thought that Marriott or our brands were going to try to tell their own story, and, and that's the exact opposite. We we're partnering with storytellers here in Hollywood uh, to create original stories where the hotel really serves as a character in the story. And uh, the brand is, a, is just part of it. It's a neighbor of the story. There's no cheesy integrations in there. Um, and I think that's what viewers appreciate, that we provide an entertainment value to them. So our approach is, if we provide value to them through content, whether it's utility content, destination content, or, or entertainment content, uh, that they will provide value back to us. And so we partnered uh, with Daniel here and uh, said, you guys do great parkour. Music, stunts, movement, all this stuff, that's what they're about. And uh, this, this is some of the most talented parkour stars that you'll find here. And uh, we developed the, the story with them. And uh, from there, we wrote the script. And uh, a couple of months later, here we are. So let's talk about the inspiration, you guys, you can jump in. But the, um, when it starts, I get a sense of it's Die Hard. There's a little bit of Die Hard, and then goes into the Bond movies. Um, was that something that... Where did, where did your ideas come from for this? Uh, this one was definitely a melting pot from uh, some feedback from everyone in the mix. Um, you know, the main inspiration was to tie these guys together. <laughs> there. The main inspiration for this was to kind of um, showcase everyone in a setting that, you know, is them. So let these guys show their acting, how great they are at um, Mr. Sato is here. Man, the most interesting man in the world. And uh, ultimately the goal is you know, to put a little of everything in there. That's how I scream really well. The good scream is it. Oh, thank you. Thanks a lot. I won't do it again. Yeah. <laughs> um, so did you have the, did you have movies that you liked that you wanted to borrow from or actually not really buying from movies. I, I think we're very inspired and, and these guys you know, tremendously inspired by Jackie Chan, you know, Buster Keaton, that's a big one for William. And so, it's kind of, you know, trying to bring back that, like, amazing, but spectacular and funny and, you know, give it purpose. So, it makes it a challenge. So, I'm trying to kind of share that flavor. Uh, David, you were saying there's a shot over 10 days, essentially, here? Yeah, it's about, uh, what, about 10 days. Yeah. I think a lot of pickups. Yeah. Felt like 20. Felt like 20, they worked really hard. Um, what were some of the challenges during the production? I mean, you had, you had the There were no challenges. It went on perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> as amazing as everybody who works here at the hotel was, we had a lot of stipulations that we had to fit with them. They only were allowed to let us use certain sections of the hotel for a small block of time. So that entire curve sequence that you watched was actually filmed within, I want to say we did it two and a half hours. And it was a really long scene to get a lot of the dialogue on acting stuck with the car and he jumped out of the way. So um, that was really challenging for our, our first AD Jake. He was amazing. And he was like the, and how early in the morning was that? Oh gosh, that was the first scene, first day, 6 a.m. we got up and didn't make it to it. Um, what, what were some of the, I mean, you had a lot of the stems in here on this room, right? Um, did you yeah. spend all the time in this room then? I think this room was only two days. Yeah, I mean, they were two 22 hour days, so I guess you could consider it <laughs> one of the longer areas that we spent. Um, but we had such an amazing stuff to Randy Wendy was our stunt coordinator. We see it all the amazing time that we had. Really, me and Billy and Ian, because, I mean, if you let us go, we'll come up with a million ideas. Even on the last day of shooting, William was just like, you know what would be a really cool idea for a scene? And then we'd be like, no, we're done. <laughs> we can't add anything else. 
when you came up with the idea, you gave it Kathleen on this too, but um, you obviously don't want it to make it feel like a commercial. Uh, like, it's not supposed to be, hey, JW, JW, let's do something cool and fun. What are the challenges in, in pulling that off? Uh, we work really closely with the, you know, the brand, uh, the one, uh, make sure the story aligns with the brand, meaning uh, Mr. Santos is a business traveler there for an art show right that aligns with part of the JW Brown, a business traveler, obviously showcasing this uh, property as well and all the things in it from the dancing you saw in, in the bar, from the ballroom, and the ballet and all of that. So it's a way that you naturally learn around the, about the hotel and the brand rather than us talking about it. I think that's what, uh, it, it, it's story first and brand is a neighbor of the story and making all that connection. So, um, you know, in writing a script and, and when I'm actually shooting, that's how this book brought it all together. Uh, it's very clear that there's a brand associated. It says JW Marriott presents. So people know that. We're not trying to trick anyone. But I think they also appreciate that it's just led with story, great action, obviously a lot of great music. These guys are working on a soundtrack that will drop in a couple of weeks as well. And, uh, you know, they already uh, are working on maybe some additional two Bellman scripts. What do you guys think? With the, um, you know, the commercialization, did that feel, was that a concern of yours? And did you want to make sure you get away from it being just like a... Yeah, it is a great thing. Uh, no, actually, I didn't think that at all. I think, uh, you know, I think smart people and not people do what they're good at. And with David, when he brought us in, he said, you guys, do you? Make it great, and it's like there's something crazy going on with it. And we're really good at it. Let's put it in there. It's really cool because we didn't feel like we were making a commercial. It's, it's like anything, right? You see James Bond driving a certain car, you like that car. He doesn't need to tell you. You just like it because he does, right? So with this brand, we were just able to kind of go that way and be in our space. And our space is so cool that you don't need to overstate what's already there. So you do feel it's, uh, this could be a franchise? You could do more of these? Let's hope so. I think the girl doesn't have a passport. Who, who in the room wants this to be a franchise property? <laughs> so, 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 so.